Broadway's Tony Award winning musical Come From Away landed in Austin this week. Actors Julie Johnson and Kevin Carolyn are joining us this morning to tell us about it. Good morning to you both. Good morning. So first tell us who your character is in the musical. I play a woman named Beulah Cooper who is uh, she's the uh, matriarch of the town. She works at the school and um, where they take in a lot of passengers during this uh, musical and uh, and during the actual happenings and she just caretakes everybody and makes sure everybody is fed and and has a fresh change of clothes and uh, because all of these people climbed off of these planes um, from uh, being grounded in during 9-11 so um, they had to they had to provide for 7,000 people in this small town and they did awesome very very maternal your yes character absolutely is. and tell us about your character uh, I get to play uh, among others uh, mayor Claude Elliott who was in charge of the town and, and responsible for galvanizing all the uh, different responses that had to happen. Uh, I say primarily because we actually get to play more than just those one character. We play mm. the characters that we mentioned. We also play plane passengers. We play uh, pretty much hundreds of people. <laughs> about 12 of us get to do that for about 100 minutes and just changing hats and jackets and things like that to play several different people telling the story of the town. Which yeah. is really fun, but how challenging is that then? It's, you know what, it, it's fun for us, it really is. And we're playing such wonderful people and the story is so important mm -hmm. that we, we feel like it's, it's something we want to give every night. I don't think any of us ever have a night where we're standing backstage thinking, Oh, I wish I was just in my room resting. Yeah, can't do that. <laughs> no, yeah. it's... Well, that's not your personalities anyway <laughs> as actors. Um, you know, tell us a little bit about, you've already told us a little bit about the, you know, the story, but I just kind of want you to go more in depth for people who maybe haven't heard of it. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, the, the fact that, that there is uh, a story that a lot of people who know stories about 9-11 had no idea that this was happening at the time. I mean, there was really uh, this large airport that, that they, don't, they only used for refueling before uh, planes were made to make the jump all the way across. So it had been sitting there. And so they were able to divert 38 planes with 7,000 passengers to a small town of 9,000 for five days. In Gander, Newfoundland and the surrounding towns. And every, uh, and every story is, is true that our creators of the show, David wow. uh, and Irene, had done. And you get, to, you get to hear little bits and pieces of everybody's story. But the, the main thing that people are going to get and take away from this is what it was like for those few days after that tragedy happened when everybody kind of took care of each other. It happened in the States, it happened in Canada, and, and bringing that um, feeling back into focus yeah. is uh, worthwhile. You know, we're running out of time, but you, I have to ask, you have to tell us your favorite song either to perform or hear during the musical. We have a beautiful song called Prayer that is uh, that has several different religions that are asking for the help and the, and the and the peace at the time when they were so so troubled and it just shows that there's so many people are so much alike in so many ways. That's awesome. What about you Kevin? And I'll talk about when our show is over. There is a few minutes where our band, our eight members, uh, jam for a little bit before the audience gets to leave and everybody should experience that high and, and, and get to hear these amazing people play this music. Yeah, that's always fun when the bands get to do what they want to do. Rock out. Uh -huh. <laughs> you yeah, got I love it. it. All right, if you guys want to check it out, Come From Away is uh, showing now, right, at the Bass Concert Hall from February 18th is when it started and it runs through Sunday. You can see all the times there on your screen. Tickets start at just $30. If you need more information, you can go to broadwayinaustin.com or, of course, kview.com because you know we're going to upload all this information along with this interview onto our website after the newscast. Thank you again so much for being Pleasure. here. We appreciate it and thank we'll you. be right back.